Hi guys, thank you for subscribing to Matalino. And in this video, we're going to talk about the volume flow rate problems in differential calculus. There are easy ways to solve this problem using the formula in physics. And this formula involves the volume flow rate. Or in fluid mechanics, this volume flow rate is simply called discharge. Let us have some examples. Water flows into this trapezoidal trough at the rate of 10 cubic feet per second. This is the cross-section of the trough. As the water flows in, the depth of water inside the trough will go up. We call this depth H. We are required to find how fast this depth is rising. We call that dH over dt when the depth is 6 inches. By ratio and proportion of this triangle, we have x is to h as 1 is to 2. Therefore, x is equal to h over 2. The volume, therefore, of the water inside the trough is equal to 1 half. We have lower base 2, upper base 2 plus 2x times the h. We actually wrote the area of this trapezoid. Times the length perpendicular to the drawing. That length is 10 feet. So the volume of the water inside is equal to 5 times 4 plus 2x, where x is equal to h over 2 times h. Now, simplify the equation, we will get 20h plus 5h squared. Now, let us differentiate this equation with respect to time. We have dv over dt is equal to 20 plus 10h times the quantity dh over dt. We are required to find dh over dt when the depth is 6 inches. Take note that dv over dt is equal to 10 cubic feet per second. And when h is equal to 6 inches or 0.5 foot, we have 10 is equal to 20 times 0.5 times 10 is 5 times dh over dt. dh over dt therefore is equal to 0.4 foot per second. And that is our answer using the conventional approach. As we mentioned earlier, we can solve this problem using a formula in physics. And that formula is about discharge is equal to area times velocity. Let's dive into that formula. We have this pipe. This volume of water will pass through this area at a specified time. This quotient V over T is called the discharge. The symbol for that is Q. And from the figure, the volume of that liquid that passed through that area is equal to the cross-section of that volume, which is also equal to A, times the length, all over T. Now, from the formula, distance is equal to velocity times time. The quotient distance over time is equal to velocity. So, from our equation, L over T is equal to the velocity. Now, we can write the formula, discharge is equal to velocity times the area. This is our formula for the discharge. Take note that in this formula, the velocity and the area must be perpendicular to each other. Now we are going to analyze this formula if time is infinitely if the time is infinite infinitesimally small. Grr. <laughs> if the time is infinitesimally small. Infinity, uh, infinities, uh, it's very, very small. <laughs> Let us call that dt. The volume will also become very small, dv. And dv over dt is equal to the length, which is also very small, dl, all over dt, times the area. Now, take note that dv over dt is equal to q. The velocity is dl over dt, and the area remains the area. Let us go back to our example. Let us retain the final answer for our reference. And for this solution, we are going to use the formula discharge is equal to area times velocity. To use this formula, we go directly to the condition when h is equal to 6 inches or when h is equal to 0.5 foot. By proportion, we have x is to 0.5 is equal to 1 is to 2. x is equal to 0.25 foot. The total width of the water surface, 2 plus 2x, is equal to 2.5 feet. And from our formula, discharge is equal to area times velocity. The area A is the area of the water surface. 
area is 2.5 times 10, that is 25 square feet. Recall that Q is equal to 10 cubic feet per second, and area is 25. What we are looking is the velocity dh over dt. We have the answer, 0.4 feet per second, which is equal to the answer in our previous solution. In our next example, we have this conical tank. Dimensions, height is 20 meters, radius is 10 meters. The radius of the water surface, let us call that R, and the depth of the water, let us call that H. Water is being pumped out at a constant rate, dV over dt. That is the discharge. And when the depth of the water H is equal to 8 meters, the water is dropping at the rate of 17.9 centimeters per minute. The question here is, how fast is dB over dT? Or what is the discharge of pumping out? In conventional solution, we are going to write the volume of the water inside the tank. Volume is one third, area of the base, which is pi r squared, that is the area of the water surface, times the depth of the water, h. By proportion, we have r is 2, h is equal to 10 is to 20. Therefore, r is equal to h over 2. The volume, therefore, is equal to 1 third pi times r, which is h over 2, raised to 2 times h. We have 1 half raised to 2 is 1 fourth times 1 third is 1 over 12 times pi. Therefore, the volume is pi over 12 times h cubed. Let us differentiate this equation both sides with respect to time. We have dv over dt is equal to 3 over 12 is 1 fourth. So we have pi over 4 h squared times dh over dt. We are required to find dv over dt when the depth is 8 meters. So we have dv over dt is pi over 4 times 8 squared. dh over dt is 17.9 cm per minute. That is equal to 0.179 meter per minute. dv over dt therefore is equal to 8.998 cubic meter per minute. If we want to convert this answer into liter per second, we are going to multiply 1000 to convert cubic meter to liters because 1000 liters is equal to 1 cubic meter. And to convert minute to second, we have 1 minute per 60 seconds. So all in all, we are going to multiply 8.998 by 1000 all over 60. And we have the answer 150 liters per second. Now we are going to use the formula discharge is equal to velocity times the area to solve this problem. To do that, let us go directly to the condition that when h is equal to 8 meters. By proportion, we have r as to 8 is equal to 10 as to 20. So therefore, r is equal to 4 meters. Discharge velocity times the area. The velocity is 17.9 cm per minute, or that is equal to 0.179 meter per minute, times the area, that is actually the area of the water surface. Pi, radius of the water surface, is 4, so 4 squared. This is the answer, 8.998 cubic meter per minute, and again, if we are going to convert this into liters per second, multiply by 1000 all over 60. We have an answer equal to the answer in our conventional solution. In our next example, we have this hemispherical bowl of radius 3 inches. Water is being poured into this bowl at the rate of 1 cubic inch per second. At any time, the depth of the water in the bowl is h. The question here is, how fast is the water surface increasing, that is dA over dt, when the depth of the water in the bowl is 1 inch. To solve this problem, let us write the volume of the water inside the bowl. That volume is a segment of a sphere. The formula of that is pi h squared all over 3 times 3r minus h, where capital R is the radius of the bowl. We have pi h squared all over 3 times 3 times 3 minus h. 
distribute h squared inside the bracket. So we have pi over 3 times 9 h squared minus h cubed. Differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. We have pi over 3, 9 h squared, the derivative of that is 18 h, and for h cubed, the derivative of that is 3 h squared. Take note that we are differentiating with respect to t, so we have dh over dt. When the depth is 1 inch, we have dB over dt is equal to 1, pi over 3, times 18 times 1, minus 3 times 1 squared. We have dH over dt as our only unknown. Solve for that, that is equal to 1 over 5 pi inch per second. The area of the water surface is equal to pi r squared, where a small letter r is the radius of the water surface. From this triangle, we can do Pythagorean theorem. R squared plus 3 minus h raised to 2 is equal to 3 squared. Solve for r squared, we have 9 transpose 3 minus h quantity raised to 2 to the right side of the equation. That will become negative. Expand that expression, we have 9 minus 2 times 3 times h is 6h plus h squared. So the r squared is equal to 6h minus h squared. Substitute this to the equation of the area. So we have pi times 6h minus h squared. Now we can differentiate this equation both sides with respect to time. This is the required dA over dt is equal to pi times 6 minus 2h times dH over dt. And now when h is equal to 1 inch, we already have dH over dt and that is equal to 1 over 5 pi. Substitute to the equation of dA over dt, we have pi times 6 minus 2 times dH over dt, which is 1 over 5 pi. We have the answer, 0.8 square inch per second. Now, if we are going to solve this problem using the discharge is equal to velocity times the area in physics, we can eliminate the steps that involves the volume of water inside the tank, which is in the form of a spherical segment. So let us go directly to the condition when h is equal to 1 inch. By Pythagorean theorem, we have r squared plus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. Therefore, r squared is equal to 5. Discharge velocity times the area. The discharge is 1, the velocity is dh over dt, and the area is pi times r squared is 5. That is a circle. So we have dh over dt is equal to 1 over 5 pi inch per second. The same value of dh over dt as we solved in the previous solution. To solve for dA over dt, which is the required, we are going to proceed the lines below. We have this cylindrical tank with axis horizontal. The dimensions of this tank is 10 meters in diameter and the length is 15 meters. Water flows in at 150 liters per second. At any time, the depth of the water in the tank is, we call that H. What is required is, how fast is that water level rising when the depth is 3.5 meters, we are looking for dH over dt. In conventional solution, we are going to write the volume of the water inside the tank. This is the cross-section of the water. From the center of the circular section, we have this angle theta. And from the center of the circle to the water surface is 5 minus h. Cosine of theta over 2 from the triangle is equal to adjacent 5 minus h all over the hypotenuse 5. Therefore, theta is equal to r cosine of 5 minus h all over 5, quantity times 2. The area of the section is given by the formula 1 half r squared times theta minus sine theta. That is the formula for the segment of a circle. Area therefore is 1 half. The radius of the circle is 5. So 5 raised to 2 times theta. So we have 2 arc cosine of 5 minus h all over 5 minus sine of theta. That is 2 arc cosine of 5 minus h all over 5. The volume is equal to area times the L. The L is 15. So 1 half times 5 e squared times 15 is equal to 187.5 times 2 arc cosine of 5 minus h all over 5 minus sine of 2 arc cosine of 5 minus h all over 5. 
we are going to differentiate this equation of volume with respect to time. Good luck to us. Fortunately, we can differentiate this using the chain rule. So when h is 3.5, we have dv over dt, copy the constant, differentiate that equation inside that blue bracket, 2 r cosine of 5 minus h all over 5, minus sine of 2 r cosine of 5 minus h all over 5, when h is 3.5 meters, and don't forget dh over dt. If you are lost in this approach, please refer to our previous video that talks about the differentiation by chain rule. So dv over dt is 150 liters per second, which is equal to dv over dt is 150 liters per second, or 0.15 cubic meter per second. That is simply 150 divided by 1,000, because there is 1,000 liters in one cubic meter. And now we are going to grab our calculator and set its angle into region. Then we are going to differentiate this equation. Set the calculator into region mode. Shift, menu, number two, angle, number two, again, for region. Then, shift, t over dx of two, shift, cosine, let us add close parenthesis, fraction, five minus alpha x over five, minus sine, let us add close parenthesis, so that it is easy to navigate, sine of two arc cosine, that is shift cosine, again, close parenthesis, go back, fraction, five minus alpha x over five. The condition is when x is equal to 3.5. 0 0.7632 times dh over dt, which is the required. So we have the value dh over dt is equal to 0 0.00105 meter per second. If we want to convert this answer into centimeter per minute, multiply 1000 to convert meter to centimeter. And again, multiply by 60 to convert second to minute. All in all, we are going to multiply this number by 6000 to convert meter per second to centimeter per minute. The answer is 6.29 centimeters per minute. As you can see, we have this equation that is a little scary, a little bit weird. Imagine that equation of the angle theta. We have a better way to do this. And that is using the discharge is equal to velocity times the area. Let us go back to our problem. This is our answer in our conventional solution. Now, in using our equation, we go directly to our condition when h is 3.5 meters. Now, from the cross-section, the distance between the center of the circle and the water surface is 1.5 meters. From this triangle, apply Pythagorean theory. We have x over 2 raised to 2 plus 1.5 squared is equal to 5 squared. Solve for x, that is the width of the water surface square root of 91. Discharge is equal to velocity times the area. Discharge is given 150 liters per second or 0.15 cubic meter per second. Velocity is the required dh over dt. And the area is the area of this water surface. That is only a rectangular area. The width is square root of 91, that is the value of x. And the length is 15. So the area is 15 times square root of 91. We have the answer of dh over dt. To convert this answer into centimeter per minute, again, multiply this by 6,000. We have the answer 6.29 centimeters per minute, which is exactly equal to the answer in our previous solution. Thank you for watching. Keep cool and stay awesome.